my name is uh, Bishop Christopher E. Finch, and I am uh, from uh, Brooklyn, United States of America. I came here for impartation, for a greater anointing. Um, I believe that God has taken my ministry to another level, and I needed the impartation to facilitate that new level. Well, I have been, I have been looking at um, the apostle on YouTube, and while looking at him on YouTube, I felt the divine connection that for this seasoning in my life, he has the impartation to be able to impart into my life. So that's why I came. Um, yes, he did. Um, he tell me exactly some of the things that I was experiencing in terms of stagnation and certain spiritual attacks because of the area of ministry that I'm involved in and exactly what he says, uh, he was 100% correct. I feel um, that from today, my ministry will never ever be the same. I believe that everything um, that happened in my ministry to bring about stagnation, after today, it has come to an end. But when he prayed for me, um, I, I felt, and I, I really felt a, a, a relief, a release. Whatever it is that was challenging me, whatever it is that was um, weighing me down, I feel totally relieved of it. 100% One, yes, 100% yes. Well, what I'd like to say, those of you who are, are viewing us at this time, that you know, God's time is the best. Um, he's never late, he's always on time. And I believe that the, God is using um, the, the bishop, he's using the pastor, he's using the apostle in a tremendous way. So if there is any issues that you have, you know, concerning your ministry, concerning your life, I will recommend that you come here and you will surely be delivered. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Angasom. Uh, I came from Canada. Uh, the reason that I came here to uh, I don't have a spiritual father, so uh, I need to uh, spiritual father. So uh, when I get uh, uh, a fever in front of uh, Apostle Jerry, uh, uh, I'm gonna ask to to be my spiritual father. Uh, the reason why I didn't have spiritual father uh, because uh, I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't uh, get. Uh, the people uh, that I need me inside my head, but when I saw Apostle Jerry in YouTube, my heart is accepted. That's why I came here to ask to be my spiritual father. Uh, he saw while he was in front of us. He he said to me, "God uses." Uh, I saw a church uh, in the in in the place that you you, you are living, and God uses you in that uh, city he said to me yes he prayed to me while he was praying uh, I sense uh, the power of the Holy Ghost so after that uh, I feel very happy he, uh, uh, he was um, uh, a very humble uh, apostle and I can see uh, the fruit of uh, the Holy Spirit inside him uh, I really appreciate to God that give us like this apostle in the nation. So I really, I feel when I see it in front of him, I really, I sense uh, uh, the same like my father uh, in flesh. So he's really a man of God. Thank you very much. I'm Antonio Mungwari from Zimbabwe. I came here because there is stagnation in my life and disobedience of my children. Everything is not going well in my family. And I'm also sick, me and my wife. I think for more than 20 years. And I've been sick for since 2010. And my wife has been sick since 2007. Yeah, and my wife is HIV positive. Uh, it affected me greatly because like in my case, this is my second wife. I lost my first wife. So my second wife is the one who was HIV positive from 2007 and I only discovered I'm HIV positive from 2011. That's when I discovered that I had lost my wife in 2000, my first wife. That 
is what happened and everything. My family, there's problem, there's chaos, there's lack of progress. My children and my and their stepmother, they are not seeing eye to eye. There are a lot of problems in this. I was using medication, taking tablets. Even myself, I am sick, I just get my hand here. It was giving me problems in my leg. But when I got here every, yesterday, everything just disappeared. Yes, the man of God prophesied about all these things that were happening in my life and also about my son who is writing his A-level exams. He's starting on Monday. He said he needs to pray for the son and for me as well. And he prayed for us and I believe everything. Yes, I do believe because in the morning when I was at the lodge, I woke up and I went out to pray. When I was praying, I got a certain verse in Isaiah 31 which was saying, Woe to me. War unto all those who go to Egypt for help. Then I prayed again. I got here. I prayed. I got a verse. It was in Luke chapter 7, uh, verse 24, 25, which was saying, You are in the wilderness. What are you looking for? You have come to see a prophet. You have come to see someone who is more than a prophet. And I believe everything that I was here for has been solved. In my life will move on from it. Yes, he prayed for me. I am feeling okay. I feel very strong. I actually came here sometime last year, but it was not only one on one. I just came in for the Sunday service and I went back. Yes. I would like to encourage them to come to Charis because here there is a true man of God. Like last year when I came here, my things changed. And always when there is a true man of God. People will fight you, will fight the anointing that is on the true man of God. That is why I was having most of these problems. And I believe now these problems are gone. When I go back, things will be changed in Zimbabwe. My name is Akri Lugabra Metin. I've come from Sydney, Australia. And the woman beside me is my better half. Her name is Abeba Gabra Metin. Right. I've been here a couple of years ago and I've seen the level of the anointing the Apostle Jerry has and I wanted impartation and also we um, have some challenges we believe there are some curses and we want him to break our curses and also we've started ministry so we need his support and prayer so we've come for that particular reason as he was sharing that uh uh, we have some obstacles, whatever we started, uh, we encounter uh, some problems. So we, w we knew that uh, it can only be dealt with the help of the Lord and we need someone who is anointed to pray for us. And that's what we got today. Praise the Lord. It's so wonderful. It was so humbling. Look, first and foremost, I want to say uh, something about him. I think he's one of the humblest anointed man of God that I have ever seen and that's why the Lord used him mightily and um, that's what I tell everyone actually is the humblest person that I have seen because I've never seen him advertising himself he lets the Lord advertise him not himself he never boasts about this or that but you see the level of anointing is unmatched by any other uh, apostles, right? Well, I went to see him and um, just like what I expected, he prayed for us and he told us that uh, the grace of the Lord is upon us and all our curses are broken and um, the God is granting us every request that uh, we petition and he's guaranteed us and we will have a, we're going to establish good relationship with Pastor, uh, Apostle Jerry now. And very excited because all our uh, that's what we've come from what we have come for sorry and uh, God is going to bless us abundantly that's what we believe <laughs> Praise the Lord, I'm so happy, so excited. In fact, there was something that I didn't know that he said that the devil is attacking my bones and I'm healed. So praise the Lord for that. Yeah, I'm just very grateful. Yeah. Look, 
God has given us five uh, fold of ministry, and this is for the body of Christ, for the edifying of the body of Christ. So everyone should realize that these are gifts to the body of Christ. Now, if we have gifts, we must use them, right? And the level of we we can learn from their experiences, from their anointing. There can be impartation, and also the advice that they give is very very beneficial to our ministries. So anyone who is facing a uh, challenge in his ministry need to come and humble himself before people uh, like uh, Apostle Jerry and learn from them and get the impartation from them and their uh, ministry will expand and there will be explosion of uh, blessings in their uh, life as well as in their ministry. As you, as you said, those ones who say I uh, belong to another church, why should I go to another ministry? I will say this to them that uh, uh, the Lord has given us, as He said, di different ministries, different anointing to different people. So they shouldn't feel any any guilt or any worries about what people will say because the gifting of uh, the Lord that He has given to His children is different for every ministers. Amen. Hallelujah. We receive it. Hallelujah. We receive it. Amen.